Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, to make this card I used the stamp set Beauty Abound and I'm going to be using this image, that butterfly and that butterfly. Yep that's it. And for the sentiment I'm using all that you are and I'm just going to use that happy birthday there. The card pieces I've got, I've got a blank card, a card blank of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. Two pieces of white card stock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. A piece of white card stock at two and three and one eighth by five and five eighths a piece of the butterfly gala um, DSP the stripey bit at five eighths by five and seven five and five eighths a piece of silver card and this is one eighth by five and five eighths I'll go along there and I have got two circles from the layering circles. This is the second size and the second size scalloped for the sentiment. So to get started, we are going to stamp on this small white piece. And I should put a bit of card underneath because we're going to go off the card and with my Versafine ink we're going to stamp that on the edge and I stamp that upside down turn it over start again I don't think there is a wrong way and a right way. So, this one. And two. And we're going to get in two on this one, the way I've stamped it, but it doesn't matter. Three. And this, oh, I see what I've done. And this one I've got three loads and then one at the bottom, but I've put them, I like that way better. Clean off my stamp. Right. The butterfly. This one we're going to put up here. And this one, if the sentiment goes there, yeah, we're going to put this that way. And there'll be one on the sentiment, which we'll do in a minute. So, these are to drive, drive, dry while we pop the sentiment on. Right, the sentiment does need to go near the top. I hope I haven't. One off. I haven't had it upside down. Do it this way. That way. And stamp down. If this fails, I have got one here already stamped. I was trying to be clever and Stamp it before I cut it, 
Right, I'm going to place a butterfly on there. There we are. Now I was trying to stamp that bef after I cut it. I should have stamped it and then brought the big shot up. That's what I was trying to avoid. Bringing the big shot up. Never mind, I have got one cut. So I suggest if you do this, stamp it then cut it. Unless you're an excellent stamper, which I'm sure you are, you'll get it right in the first place. Not like me. Rubbish. Right. I'm going to colour this in using our blends. So I used Rich Raspberry Light, Granny Apple Green Light, Old Olive Light, and I used Pink last time. I'm going to use Petal Pink this time. Petal Pink. I'm going to use Petal Pink and Red rather than rich raspberry real red yeah light real red so let's do the leaves first what we did with this is I did one half of all the leaves in granny apple green Just colour all these leaves in. Do the other half in Old Olive. grandson will be arriving in from school shortly peace and quiet will be over <laughs> doesn't need to be picked up now he is 12 so old enough to come home from school on his own He's on his bike. Right, that's all them leaves. Then for these swirly bits, I use light mossy meadow and I just Coloured them in in 
Mossy Meadow. Got a squeaky chair every time I move it squeaks. Time to change chairs I think. Right. With the what is this thing? With the flowers I'm going to do every other one different colours, so hopefully not. near each other if you know what I mean. That's That'll be that, that be that. Other flowers we're doing red. Oh, I went over one of these, never mind. I don't know if I've ever used this pen before. light mossy meadow to just to in the funnel bits of these flowers where it's showing not all of them have gotten there's another leaf I've forgotten Now then, I am going to do a uh, colour did I do them on here? Oh, I did them green. Uh, 
what I'm going to do is these ones, the half open flowers, I think they are. Three of them. I've done the outsides green and I'll do the insides pink. That's it. Right, the flowers, the flowers, the butterflies, I'm going to do Where's me? And just do some red around the edges. There we are. Doesn't that look pretty? And that will stick on there. Well, our third one. Right, let's put this car together. So, stick this on. dimensionals right with the stripey bit and glue it up and we stick that right to the edge of that white card This one oh yeah that goes right to the edge and that will sit down the join. So we'll stick this one on next. Paper, well, card really, and place that down the join, and then this whole thing can go on the Card base. I did it again. Stop halfway through a sentence. And then my sentiment go on. go on without the backing just there 
and then some Winca Stella. Let me just move over the butterflies. This one, Castella, is really juicy. I think it's because I don't use it. And I should really. Can you see the glitter on them? I don't think you can. Very nice. Let's do the flowers. It's a nice glittery card. Don't you like it? Oh, I never put the one inside. I didn't do anything inside. Oh, I did. Let's celebrate you. Where did I get that from? Itty bitty birthdays, most probably. So, what we'll do is... I'll do the butterflies. I did three butterflies. One. Two. Three. And... That one I put there. And quickly colour. Oh, I will have to wait for that to dry before I colour them butterflies in. And add that Let's Celebrate, which I'll do off camera. And pop it inside. So I'll just put that to one side. Oh, I know what I haven't done. I added gems. Oh, mm. I don't think these are them, but they'll do. Will they? Yeah. So I added one there, so there you have it, hope you like it, if you do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.